Shana Tova from the Applebaum Smith household, from our family to yours, wishing you a happy new year, a sweet new year, and a healthy new year. See you soon. From the Moskowitz home to your home. We wish you a sweet and happy new year. Shana Tova Umetuka. May you have a year filled with joy and happiness and good health. Shana Tova. Happy new year from our house to yours. The Shana Tova people. Love, Love the, the Newmans. Shana Tova. From our family to yours. The Shana Tova. From the Silvermans. Shana Tova. From the Applebaum Smith household, from our family to yours, wishing you a happy new year, a sweet new year, and a healthy new year. See you soon.
from the Moskowitz home to your home. We wish you a sweet and happy new year. Shana Tova Umetuka. May you have a year filled with joy and happiness and good health. Shana Tova. Happy new year from our house to yours. The Shana Tova people. Love, Love the, the Newmans. Shana Tova. From our family to yours. The Shana Tova. From the Silvermans. From the Applebaum Smith household, from our firmly to yours, wishing you a happy new year, a sweet new year, and a healthy new year. See you soon. From the Moskowitz home to your home. We wish you a sweet and happy new year. Shana Tova Umetuka. May you have a year filled with joy and happiness and good health. Shana Tova. Happy new year from our house to yours. The Shana Tova people. Love, Love the, the Newmans. Newmans. 
Shana Tova from our family to yours. The Shana Tova from the Silvermans. Shana Tova! Welcome! We have home for the holy days, together beyond tradition, at Temple Beth Torah. Each word in the name that we gave these holidays has significance. Home, because many of you are in your homes, and we are in our communal home of the synagogue together. And of course, today is the beginning of our high holy days, this time that we come together each year for a new year, for a Shana Tova, to reflect and renew and to have a, an amazing experience together. But this year, we've called it Together Beyond Tradition. And I hope you got the TBT, similar to Touched by Torah, if you missed that one. Together Beyond Tradition, we came up with new ways to reach out to you, but ways that still honor our tradition. So we come together on this Rosh Hashanah in prayer, in song, and in community. We begin with the lighting of the Shabbat candles, which can be found on page 17 in the Maroon Maxor. If you don't have a book, you, we had sent a link for a PDF, or you can download it on a Kindle. Otherwise, you can just follow along and enjoy the prayers and listen to the prayers of your own heart and the melodies of your soul. We are honored to invite our temple president, Vanessa Newman, and our first husband, Ira Newman, to honor us by lighting the Shabbat candles. Creator, Creator of beginnings, as, as you created, created the world on this day, day uniting fragments into a universe. universe. So help unite our hearts and the hearts of all Jews to serve you. Illumine our lives with the light of your Torah, for by your light do we see light. Grant us this year a glimpse of the light of redemption, the light of healing and of peace. Amen.
Baruch Ata Danai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Asher Kedishanu B'mitzrotav B'tzivanu B'hadlik Ner Shel Shabbat B'shel Yom Tov. Blessed is the eternal God, God ruler of the universe, who, who hallows us with the mitzvot and, and commands us to kindle the lights of Shabbat and Yom Tov. Baruch Ata Danai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Shehechianu V'kiyamanu V'higiyanu L'azman Hazeh. Blessed is the eternal God, ruler of the universe, for giving us life, for sustaining us, and for enabling us to reach this season. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Ha'olam Asher Nishanu B'mitzvotov V'tzivanu Le'hadlik Ner Le'hadlik Ner V'shel Yom Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Shehech Yanu, V'kiyamanu, V'higiyanu, L'azman Hazeh, Amin. The next prayer is called the Hinani. It's a prayer traditionally said by the rabbi before she leads the congregation for these most awesome days. I've written my own Hinani to ask God to guide me and Rabbi Wiesenberg and Cantor Applebaum and Rabbi Gelman as we guide you through these awesome days. After we do the English prayer, we will continue on page 18 with the traditional Hinani. Please rise. Thank you, God, for allowing us to come together in our vulnerability and in our bravery, in our sorrow and in our joy, in our fear and in our longing, in our sheltering in place and turning inward, and in our compassion and reaching out. Tonight, we pray that our prayers, our hopes, our dreams, reach beyond these screens and walls, that our truths come to the surface during these most awesome days. May our prayers connect us to our past, our present, and our future, and to you, O oh God. On these most holy days, connect us to our ancestors, the ancient ones and the ones we knew personally, whose stories have formed us, guided us and grounded us. Let us guide you to new truths from old traditions. We acknowledge that we are here in this moment which feels unprecedented to us, a time like no other that we have known. We come together united with prayers for our hopes and longings, with our fears of the unknown and our confidence in the goodness of humanity and in you. May we rise from these high holy days to new possibilities, new skills, new ways of functioning in the world. Help us to combine the best of our old ways with the best of our new ways and create a better tomorrow for ourselves, our families, our communities, and the world. Oh God, you have entrusted us to lead this congregation. Help us to do so with integrity and honor in new and ancient ways. Hear our prayers. Hear our prayers. Hear our prayers. Israel, but 
In the seventh month, on the first day of the month, there shall be a sacred assembly, a cessation from work, a day of commemoration proclaimed by the sound of the shofar. Sound the shofar when the new moon appears at the turning of the year, at the returning of our solemn celebration, for this is a statute binding on Israel, an ordinance of the God of Jacob. Yehi ratzom milfanecha Adonai Eloheinu velohei avoteinu ve'imoteinu, shetit chadesh aleinu al kol beit Yisrael et hashana hazot, shanat chameshet elafim v'sheva, May it be your will, eternal our, our God, God of all generations, that the year 5,781 bring to us and the whole house of Israel life and peace, joy and exaltation, redemption and comfort. And let us say, Amen. Amen. We continue with the Baruch Hu. to whom our praise is due. Praise, praise be, be the eternal, eternal to whom, whom our praise is due now and forever. We remain standing as we continue on page 25. There was silence. There was chaos. There was a voice. A mind went forth to form worlds. Now order reigns where chaos once held sway. The law makes evening fall. The law brings on the dawn. The moon follows accustomed paths, constellations, their patterned ways. Sovereign is the will that orders the stars in their courses in the endless skies. Sovereign is that will. Uma virio, ume vilaila, ma dil venio muve laila, I don't know, se voce mo, el chai ve kayam, tamid im lo valero le ramba ed, baruch at harunai, amariv Ahavat Olam, Beit Yisrael, Am Ahavto. Torah and Mitzvot, Chukim and Mishpatim, Otanu Limadcha. Al-Kain Adonai Eloheinu, Veshofeinu 
to whom our praise is due now and forever. Please be seated. Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha v'chol levavcha u'v'chol nafshecha u'v'chol me'odecha. V'hayu hadvarim ha'ele asher anochi mitzavcha hayom al levavcha. V'shinan tam levanecha v'dibarta bam v'shivtecha b'veitecha Uvlechtecha vaderach, uvshoch becha uvkumecha, uksartam leot al yadecha, vehayu le totafot bein einecha, uktavtam al mezuzot betecha uvi sharecha. We pray together on the bottom of page 26. You shall love your eternal God with all your mind, with all your strength, with all your being. Set, Set these words which I, I command you this day upon your heart. Teach them faithfully to your children. Speak of them in your home and on your way. When you lie down and when you rise up. Bind them as a sign upon your hand. Let them be a symbol before your eyes. Inscribe them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Lama'an tizkeru va'asitem et kol mitzvotai, v'yitem kedoshim le'elohechem. Ani, Adonai Elohechem, asher hotzeiti etchem me'eretz mitzrayim, liot lachem le'elohim. Ani, Adonai Elohechem. Together, be mindful of all my mitzvot and do them. So shall you consecrate yourselves to your God. I am your eternal God, who led you out of Egypt to be your God. I am your eternal God. We pray together responsively on page 27. What does it mean to be a Jew? You shall be holy. In the face of the many to stand for the one. In the presence of fragments to make them whole. What does it mean to be a Jew? You shall be a holy people. To hold, to hold fast to our vision of truth. To retain our faith in tomorrow. Holy in our past is the memory of redemption from Egyptian bondage. Holy in our day is the hope of a redemption we still await. Twice holy in our past are those who gave their lives to hallow this world. Holy is the Jew today and tomorrow who bears witness to the goodness of life. And holy are those whose lives are songs in freedom's cause. We turn the page for Mi Chamocha. Mi Chamocha Berim Adonai Mi Chamocha Nedar Oh, 
to life renewed. May night spread over us as a shelter of peace, of quiet and calm, the blessing of rest. There will come a time when morning will bring no word of war or famine or anguish. There will come a day of happiness, of contentment, and peace. Praised be the source of joy within us for the night and its rest and for the promise of peace. We continue as we thank God for the joy of Shabbos with Bishamra. Beautiful. That was my Nana's favorite, and I really want to thank you for letting me feel her presence on this holiday season. We continue with the Amidah as we turn to page 30. We rise in body or spirit for the Avot the Imahot. Oh! 
You are holy, your name is holy, and those who strive to be holy declare your glory day by day. Please be seated. Eternal God, cause all your works to stand in awe before you and all that you have made to tremble at your presence. Let all that lives revere you and all creation turn to you in worship. Let them all become a single family, doing your will with a perfect heart. For well we know, eternal God, that yours is the majesty, yours the might, and awesome is your name in all creation. We pray together. Grant, Grant honor, honor to, to your, your people, people, glory to, to those who revere you, you, hope to those who seek you, and courage to those who trust you. Bless your land with gladness, and your city with joy, and cause the light of redemption to dawn for all who dwell on earth. Then the just shall see and exalt, the upright be glad, and the faithful sing for joy. Violence shall rage no more, and evil shall vanish like smoke. The rule of tyranny shall pass away from the earth, and you alone shall reign over all your works. As it is written, the eternal, the eternal one, one shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, from generation to generation, hallelujah. You are holy. Awesome is your name. There is no God but you, as it is written. The God of all being is exalted by justice. The holy God is sanctified by righteousness. Blessed is our God, the holy sovereign. Arrogata donai Amele hakadu We continue on page 34 in the middle of the page in love and favor, O God, you have chosen us from all the peoples, hallowing us with your mitzvot. Our sovereign, you have summoned us to your service, that through us your great and holy name may become known in all the earth. In your love, O God, you have given us this Shabbat and this day of remembrance, to hear the sound of the shofar, to unite in worship, and to recall the exodus from Egypt. 
Eloheinu, Eloheinu, Avoteinu, Yale, Yavo, Vizahe, Zichroneinu, Vizichron, Kolam, Habit, Yisrael, Lepanecha, Vitova, Lechainu, Lechesed, Urachamim, Lechaim, Shalom, Beyom, Hazikaron, Hazel, Zachreinu, Adonai, Eloheinu, Bo, Litova, Ufogdeinu, Boli Vracha. Amen. Vahoshienu, Volechaim. Amen. Our God and God of all ages, be mindful of your people Israel on this day of remembrance and renew in us love and compassion goodness, life, and peace. This day, remember us for well-being. Amen. This day, bless us with your nearness. Amen. This day, help us to live. Amen. Our God and God of our ancestors, may you rule in glory over all the earth and let your grandeur be acclaimed throughout the world. Reveal the splendor of your majesty to all who dwell on earth that all your works may know you as their maker, and all the living acknowledge you as their creator. Then all who breathe shall say, the sovereign God of Israel is the one whose dominion extends to all creation. Sanctify us with your mitzvot, and let your Torah be our way of life. May our rest on this day be pleasing in your sight. Satisfy us with your goodness, and gladden us with your salvation, and purify our hearts to serve you in truth. For you, O God, are truth, and your word is true forever. In your gracious love, eternal God, let your holy Sabbath remain our heritage, that all Israel, hallowing your name, may find rest and peace. Blessed is the Eternal who hallows the Shabbat and the house of Israel and the day of remembrance. We continue with Ritzay on page 36.
Every Shabbat, just before Shalom Rav, I usually say something like, this week, more than ever, we pray for peace. This Shabbat, I say, this year, more than ever, we pray for Shalom Rav, an abundance of peace to descend upon us. We pray together, page 37, with Shalom Rav.
how beautiful. We continue by rising for Avinu Malkenu on page 40. And as always, we invite you to rise at home in body or in soul. Avinu Malkenu, Shema Kolenu. Avinu Malkenu, hear our voice. Avinu Malkenu, Hatanu Lefanecha. Avinu Malkenu, we have sinned against you. Avinu Malkenu, Hamol Alenu, Vaal Olalenu, Vitapenu. Avinu Malkenu, have compassion on us and on our children. Avinu Malkenu, Kale Dever, Vechere, Vraav, Mealenu. Avinu Malkenu, make an end to sickness, war, and famine. Avinu Malkenu, Kale Kotsar, Umastin, Maalenu. Avinu Malkenu, make an end to all oppression. Avinu Malkenu, Kadvenu, Besefer Chaim Tovim. Avinu Malkenu, inscribe us for blessing in the Book of Life. Avinu Malkenu, Chade Shalenu Shana Tova. Avinu Malkenu, let the new year be a good year for us. Avinu Malkenu, Harem Kerem Yisrael Amecha. Avinu Malkenu, give strength to your people Israel. Avinu Malkenu, Chanenu Ve'anenu, Ki Ein Banu Ma'asim. Ase Imanu Tzedaka Ve'chesed, Ve'hoshienu. Avinu Malkenu, be gracious and answer us, for we have little merit. Treat us generously and with kindness, and be our help.
Please be seated. This April, I had an amazing experience of seeing the flowers in my neighborhood in a new way. On my daily walks, I started to see pointy plants coming up in a large circle. As the weeks went on, each individual plant got taller with the leaves tightly wrapped around a core. I couldn't figure out what they were. I had never seen this plant before. As they grew a bit more, it became obvious that these small individual stalks were part of a hosta, the big leafy greens that cover large areas of our neighborhood. I've been living in my current house for 17 years, and I have never before noticed the hostas beginning to bloom on my lawn, or certainly not on my neighbor's lawns. I just see them when they're full grown. There are two parts to that story that are noteworthy. One, the phrase, on my daily walks. How many of you have added that phrase to your vocabulary in the last six months? I've had a lot of new experiences, just like that one. And then, in the story, of course, the part about my ability to see things I've never seen before. This pandemic has brought more than its share of frustrations and challenges. Tonight, as we begin our Yamim Noraim, our days of awe, I'd like to focus on the unique vision 2020 has afforded us. This is my Elul story. Did you realize that even the way we presented the Elul stories this year was a direct outgrowth of not being able to be together? This is the first year we have asked people to send in a picture with their stories. When putting this together, I just felt that we needed not only to learn from each other, but to be able to see one another. Tonight, we ask the question from Pirkei Avot, Ezehu Hacham, who is wise? The answer has nothing to do with being book smart or having technological savvy. For Rabbi Ben Zoma answers, Ham Lomed Mikol Adam, one who learns from every person. And tonight we extend this beautiful teaching to include and one who learns from every experience, the seemingly good ones and the seemingly bad. This year, 2020, has allowed new opportunities for seeing and for learning. On New Year's, the January 1st one, I had a pair of 2020 glasses. What if those glasses were the key to making the most of this crazy year? How has our vision been sharpened? How can these 2020 lenses help us to see new things? and to see old things in new ways. It's a shame that we have had to move to online services for Shabbat and for these high holy days. But there have been some upsides. Attendance has never been better on Friday nights. Of course, I attribute this to your amazing clergy and to the fact that there was nothing else to do and nowhere else to go. But really, there was a need to connect. And we appreciate so many of you joining us each Friday night. It was a much needed source of strength for us as well. In late April, I got a call from three women who are studying at NYU. Can we attend a Jewish worship service? We are taking a sociology class and need to attend a Shabbat service. That week just happened to be our Yom HaShoah service. 
Because of the pandemic, we were trying something a bit different. We had invited the members of our second generation group, children of Holocaust survivors, to share their stories and to share their parents' stories. It was a beautiful service. Not only did our second generation members speak, but many of their children in their 20s and 30s joined us as well to share their memories, their stories about their grandparents. What was so lovely that night for me was seeing their toddlers on the screen, the great grandchildren of the Shoah survivors. It was one of those beautiful nights when there isn't a dry eye in the house where you feel particularly proud to be part of our Temple Beth Torah community. A week or so later, I had an appointment with the three women to schedule a follow-up session so they could ask me some questions. Hannah is a black woman from Biloxi, Mississippi. She shares that her teenage son had recently read The Boy in the Striped Pajamas and she had read it along with him. They had discussed it at dinner and learned a lot. To me, this sounded like their main experience with the Holocaust, reading young adult novels. But then she attended our Yom HaShoah service, and she was so moved by it that she recounts it verbatim at the dinner table the next night. She wants her son to hear the stories, our stories, and to understand, to understand so that he can recognize hatred and bigotry in the world and work to prevent it. We connected in a way that could never have been foreseen before this COVID crisis. These students who live all over the country couldn't have come to Temple Beth Torah in Melville, New York that night. Some of you joined from out of state, and many of the children of the families who participated don't live in the area or would have been home putting those adorable small children who made the night so special to bed. But we were able to see the resilience of the Jewish people with our own eyes and share it with others who want to learn from us. I have also found that time has been altered during the pandemic. For Steve, Shira, Ari, and I, we have found ourselves living in the same house, spending a lot of time together. The night before Shira left to go back to the city, we played Rose Thorn Bud at dinner, in which you share a high, a low, and a next step, or an idea that is blooming, percolating. As a rose, thank goodness, the kids pointed out that we have never had dinner together so many nights in a row. We have probably never had dinner more than three nights in a row, unless we were on vacation. This summer, we were together every night for 10 weeks. Our time together, getting to see each other daily and to be part of the ordinary moments of each other's lives was an unexpected treat of the pandemic. The changes this spring for all of us brought Zoom calls and unstructured time, no one having social commitments, events being canceled. And this led Shira and Ari to decide that they would use this extra time to learn more about their family. They set up Zoom interviews with each of their grandparents in which they interviewed them about their childhoods, about their parents and grandparents, how they met their spouses, 
And we were able to compare versions of the story. They asked questions about what Steve and I were like when we were younger. And they asked really hard questions. What are you proud of in your life? When have you been disappointed or frustrated? And what's next? It was such a meaningful experience for all involved. And we now have recordings of well-known family stories and some that we had never heard before that we will be able to rewatch. 2020 allowed us the time to learn from one another and to see each other in new ways. I came across a powerful picture created by Ginny Isaro, a dear friend from rabbinical school and a wonderful artist. She entitled it Living Alone. It is a painting of a woman with gray hair and glasses, wearing a vivid blue shirt, looking outward, twisting her body to see more. In the background is a view of city apartment buildings with individuals going about their own business behind their own windows. What makes this piece pop is that it is installed on a brick wall with a white window frame covering the picture. It gives the work a quality of an optical illusion. Is the woman in blue gazing out at us? Or are we staring into her space? She looks like she is longing for connection, for touch. This picture was made during the pandemic to capture the way we are all living alone, often on the inside looking out, unable to see each other in the usual ways. But in some ways, it could have been created before the pandemic. I know we could touch each other then, we could go to work, we could have lunch or dinner or go to parties. We weren't trapped by external forces, but so many of us felt alone, caught behind a window pane of glass, living our lives, but not quite connecting with other people or with the world around us. The pandemic has shined a light on the loneliness and isolation that surrounds us. We need to ask ourselves, how can we help? In what way can we make connections to help people feel seen? Will you be able to look back on 2020 and say you helped make someone's life better? You eliminated some suffering. You brought groceries for a neighbor. You made some extra phone calls to check in. Have you spent time with a friend who is in pain because they can't visit their mother or father in a nursing home? So hard. And what about friends who you know are suffering from illnesses that make it harder for them to connect? I recently visited with friends where one of the partners has dementia. They are feeling less connected than ever before because of social distancing. Illness can do that. It scares us away, not consciously, but we allow ourselves to avoid getting too close. Think about who in your life would really appreciate an extra reach out from you a chance to go to a park and physically distance while you socially connect. Temple Beth Torah was just selected by UJA to partner with Dix Hills Jewish Center and create a Jewish village, part of the village movement for adults in their 50s and up to maintain independence, to be of help to others, 
and to give purpose and meaning to life. It's a way to help people stay in their homes in later life. I invite you to be part of our new village and to help us do the work of seeing one another, of being there for each other. Take time this year to hear more stories. Can you arrange a Zoom interview or a conversation with a family member, a neighbor, a friend? Everyone has a story to tell, lessons to teach. Can you ask the questions that elicit the roses the thorns, and the buds, knowing at the same time you will become wise. Remember Ben Zoma's teaching? Ezahu hacham, who is wise? Ham lomed mikol adam, one who learns from everyone. My hostas are now fully grown. But I have a new image of them from back in the spring when they started out as individual plants. They were barely noticeable. They were very pretty back then. But now they have grown together, and the individual plants are indistinguishable from one another. They are truly majestic as they cover large areas. This pandemic is awful. Lives have been lost. So many people have suffered. But while we are still, still in it, we can look for ways to help others, ways that will hopefully outlast this period of quarantine. When you look back on 2020, will you be able to say that you saw its joys and blessings, the ones that surround us all the time? that you shifted your focus to see how you could help someone else, that you reached out and lifted someone else, that you helped them to flourish and grow, that you heard their stories and really saw them. With that 2020 vision, you were able to see all the beauty in the world around us. Can you hear that song? Shana Tova. Our concluding prayers can be found on page 43. We rise for Alenu. Alenu Lishabayak la don ha hol, la teit gnula nil terberishit, jeloa sanu kegoye aratot, vila osamanu. standing as we turn to page 45. When someone we love has departed this earth, the holidays have a way of making us truly feel their absence. But I also hope for those of you who feel this absence, you also feel their presence and their love during this season. Usually we don't read our Yurtzeit list on the high holidays, but when a high holiday falls on a Shabbat, we do read our Yurtzeit list. And so on this Rosh Hashanah, on this Shabbat, we think about those in our community who loved. Joseph Barkin, Alice Burland, Herman Victor Blecker, Rosemarie Bourgeois, Minnie Seno, Abraham Cohen, Mildred Dale, Richard Darrison, 
Sydney Dono, Carolyn Dorman, Ethel Fishman, Milton J. Gordon, Lori Guber, Bernice Honig, Claire Jaffe, Maurice Lamont, Hannah Langberg, Nathan Langberg, Max Lieberman, Sylvia Messing, Theodore Ogla, Jenny Packer, Essie Racklin, Maurice Rachmiel, Francis Raymore, Selma Skippy Reitman, Kimberly Brecker Richmond, Winnie Rose, Alvin Rutsky, Gil Sack, Lillian Schlansky, Dorothy Sakelli, Sylvia Scheinkoff, Seymour M. Sherman, Bell Salish, Max Spun, Harry Weber, and Martin Wolf. Kadisha Tome Mourner's Kaddish can be found on page 45. Yitkadal viet kadash shame raba. Amen. Bilma di rach virute viam lich malchute. Bahaya hon of yome hon. Bahaye de hol be Israel. Bagala ubisman kariv vimru. Amen. Yehe shame raba mevarach leolam ome almaya. Yit barach viish tabach viit paar viit romam viit nase. Viet hadar, viet ale, viet alal, shemade kudisha, rihu. Laela min kol birchata vashirata, tushvachata venechemata, da amiran beama vimru ani. Yehe shlama rabba min shemaya, vachayim alenu vel kol Yisrael vimru ani. Ose shalom vimromav, hu ya ase shalom. Alenu ve'al kol Yisrael vimru. Amen. May the one who makes peace high up in heaven make peace for us here on earth and comfort all of you who are in mourning on this high holiday season. And together we say, Amen. Amen. We turn to page 42 as we celebrate this Shabbat and this new year with Kiddush. Baruch turn to those in our community that could use a little bit of healing on this Shabbat, in this new year, who could use a little bit of healing of the mind, of the body, or of the spirit. We pray for every single person on our Misha Beirach list. If you would like their name said aloud, you may say their name aloud in this moment.
Misha Beirach. Misha Beirach, Avotei, Bekor Avraham, All those that you love, may they have a full and complete healing. As Rabbi Moskowitz usually says, we send these healing prayers out to people we don't even know. It is now my honor to call up Vanessa Newman, president of our congregation, for some announcements. Lashana Tova, we're delighted that so many of you have joined us for services this year. Our gift to the community was to open our services to family and friends at no charge. The gift bags many of you received is our way to help bring the sanctuary into your home. We hope that you have found meaning and inspiration in our high holiday services and will make a donation to support Temple Beth Torah as generously as you can. We would be delighted if our guests joined our Temple family with our new commitment to giving, which will give you access to the full benefits of membership while choosing which level works best for you and your family. Please remember all of the information is on our website. Please visit tbtny.org for detailed information on all of the High Holy Day services, as well as our wonderful upcoming programming, such as ADEPT programming, which is starting up again on October 12th, our many social action opportunities, our engagement committee events and programs, and our fundraising events. These are all different ways to keep you engaged and connected to our community. Our annual High Holiday Food Drive for the Mercy Soup Kitchen will be ongoing through Yom Kippur. Please drop non-perishable foods during temple hours and on Yom Kippur from 12 to 3 p.m. The information is on our website as well as in the gift bag many of you received. Please join us tomorrow morning at 9.15 a.m. for our traditional service, followed by Rabbi Gelman's sermon at 11 a.m. At 12 o'clock, our collage service will take place, which is a new combination of our family and traditional services. At 2 o'clock, we will have a Zoom meet and greet with our clergy. And then at 3 o'clock, we will have our children's services. Lastly, our in-person touch leak services will take place in Cold Spring Harbor at Billy Joel Park at 4.30 p.m. Thank you. We close our service this evening with a Don Alam on page 47. Do no love, I share my life with Saturn Gold, it's the universe, the eight Nasa, the hip so cold, as I may left, as I may left, Shimoni Rah, Akare, King Lord Hako.
Eloteinu, our God and God of our mothers and fathers, please bless us with the year of 2020 vision and let us say, Amen. Shana Tova. Shana Tova.